The world is much smaller than we think, yet larger than we imagine, and moving forward faster than we can fathom. Hey, what's going on guys? So today I'm going to walk through just like a kind of a quick workflow, you can call it a tutorial of just how to make a video like this. Over, especially the past couple of days, there have been a lot of people just generating these like fully AI generated people and having them talk and speak and it actually opens up a lot of really interesting use cases. So this was a really famous one. Peter Levels made this. Um, I mean, the big breakthrough, especially over the last, I would say, around two weeks, is to act is is Flux. So if you haven't found out what, if you haven't played around with Flux yet, it's really good. Like it's a brand new open source, just text to image model, and it's it's also image to image as well. And it's created by the team behind Stable Diffusion. So this is Black Forest Labs. Now. The workflow that pe that is really interesting to us here, especially here at Sync, is you take an image, you animate it, so you make it, you basically bring it to life, and you can use something like Kling. Uh, Gen three from Runway is also really good. We've also seen people just use just like Luma Labs straight up and just do text to video and then use those inputs. But like the challenge is, you can't actually have like basically you're making B roll, and you're not having these like actors speak what you want them to say. And that's where these like lip syncing models really come in. If you can't, you, like fundamentally, for every story, it's about the people. And if you can't get the people to say, to look and sound like you want them to sound like, you can't really tell a story with these things. So this is where it's pretty interesting for us. And I am actually just been exploring, seeing what people like, kind of what the workflow looks like end to end. This tutorial today, we are going to actually go ahead and just try and recreate the woman in the red from the matrix. So this lady right here. Cool. So the best place that I found to use Flux is just um, like they have their official playground. It's like deployed on foul. It is open source. So you can download the weights and just like run it yourself locally. But um, obviously just like just to start playing run with this is probably the easiest way. So this is Flux One Pro. This is their highest resolution model. And you can see that if you do generate, like if basically it, it's available for commercial use. So if you generate anything, you can actually monetize it, which is awesome. We could try and sit there and describe, like this is a, well, one example. This is an example prompt that you just get with Flux out of the box. It's very good. It's very detailed. Obviously, they're just trying to show you how to how to use the model. And what really was interesting to me is this part here, where the word flux is painting over it in big white brushstrokes with visible texture. It understands depth very well. So when you add this, like basically this description into the prompt, it understands that it should be on the foreground, and it does a really good job at showing that. So that's pretty awesome, actually. You also just see the detail. It's this is a sick model. Now let's go ahead and try and recreate the woman in the red dress. So what I typically do, I mean it's pretty easy to do this. I think it's easier than just sitting there and trying to like describe the prompt yourself. This is a famous scene from a movie. There we go. I just want to do this so that Claude doesn't think that we're creepy and actually not do not do the job that we wanted to do. Okay, so now Claude is describing the image exactly as it sees it. Awesome. Now turn this into a detailed prompt so we can recreate her using Midjourney. And obviously, I'm using Midjourney just because these models are not always super up to date. So I actually don't know if Claude knows about Flux yet or not. I would imagine it probably doesn't. And I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to give it an example of a really good prompt. This is an example of a really good prompt. And what I'll actually do is I'll feed the image as well. I attached the image this example prompt created to this message just to give it a little bit more instruction use this as an example to recreate the woman in 
the red dress. There we go. So this isn't all, it's not perfect, but let's try it out and see what it does. You can also see additional settings. So right now we're just going to leave it as the default. We're going to do the default landscape four by three. That should be fine for us. It is cool though, because you can generate in whatever, pretty much whatever you want. There we go. That's pretty good. So I actually, we, I don't want to have anyone in the background. I just want to have one person, like just her. So when I'm going to go back to Claude and say, this is great, but we don't want anyone else in the background. Change the back, the prompt. So she is on a beach. Cool. There we go. So now you can see how you can actually very quickly iterate. And if you have an eye for this and you can, I mean, I'm just doing this as a quick tutorial, but obviously you can actually go and think about it and write exactly what comes to your mind's eye. You can use Claude for now. So this is the first step. So, I mean, basically everything that we've done so far, this is crazy. This, this is actually really crazy. Okay. So we're going to say, I'm actually going to just save this image. Now the next stage is how do you turn this image into a video? So let's go to runway. I actually like gen three. Gen three is really good. It's a sick model. Let's see. I don't know how much they spent to actually create this model, but it must've been a lot of money. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. We're going to drop in this image crop. So runway only um, like basically will generate at this like this scale, which is fine, not bad. And now here is the real question. So we have to describe our shots. You can basically uh, describe how you want the generation to occur. And mostly it's around how do you describe what the camera angle is gonna be. So we want a static shot, let's say 50 mi like millimeter lens. Um, and then we just ask Claude to generate a couple more descriptive like sentences based off of the like the samples that Runway themselves have given us. So we're gonna click generate and it does take a couple of minutes, obviously. Generating video is not the easiest thing to do computationally, but it still works really well. So let's let this generate real quick and then yeah, see what let's see what happens. Cool, let's see how this is. Okay, a little uncanny, just kind of staring into the camera. Let's see, let's try this again. Let's remove some of the details here, so. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, this is sick. It's pretty good. It's not exactly the same scene, but we definitely brought to life the woman in the red dress. The question is, how do we actually make her speak? So Runway does have this lip sync tool. So let's see. So they're detecting a face in our input video. So let's try it out real quick. Um, I can upload an audio file or record audio. Drop it in. There we go. You can listen to it. The world is much smaller than we think, yet larger than we imagine, and moving forward faster than we can fathom. And we're just going to hit generate lip sync. So while this generates, we're actually just going to try it out on, on sync as well. So as you can see, I have tried this before and we've been trying it with a bunch of AI generated characters. We're going to drop in this video. We're going to do, actually we'll drop in the same audio as well. And we have a series of models. So the one that we just released is 171 in beta and it's our <laughs> simple description. It's our fastest and our best model to date. So we're just gonna use that, we're gonna hit generate. There we go. So let's see what the output looks like on both of these. So let's let them process, we'll see how it is. The world is much smaller than we think, yet larger than we imagine, and moving forward faster than we can fathom. There we go. That's the output. So let's see how it is on runway. The world is much smaller than we think, yet larger than we imagine, and moving forward faster than we can fathom. Just more natural on sync, as you can see. But play around with it. I mean, this is a pretty simple way to get started. And hopefully this was helpful to you. You can obviously see what the power of this can be. I mean, 
promoting products, you don't actually need to go and hire an influencer anymore. You could just generate these videos by yourself. You could also do a lot of really creative things. Like you could make entire films that you can have conversations between different characters, especially when it comes to Flux. Like you can create very like controllable and consistent characters like Flux and Laura works really well. And you can bring them to life using any of these image video tools and you can create the narratives and like create these stories and stitch them together in a way where it makes a lot of sense using tools like us. So this wasn't really supposed to promote us or anything. Just wanted to show you something cool that people are doing and give you some insight into how you can do it as well. So let me know what you think.